Good morning. Uh, my name's Tony Hawk. I'm a technical account manager based here in Canberra. And yeah, as it says, we're going to have a chat about Direct Connect with an emphasis on how to connect in Canberra. So, a bit of an agenda. First, we'll just go over what the product is, how it works, then give a bit of an idea of how it can add value to your organization. And finally, we'll cover some specifics on how you can connect in Canberra. So first up, Direct Connect leverages industry standard protocols such as Ethernet, 802.1Q and BGP to deliver network connections direct into AWS. It provides consistent and predictable performance to enable workloads such as scientific computing and analysis workloads, which can be very high in bandwidth requirements, as well as latency sensitive applications such as contact centers powered by Amazon Connect. Additionally, you can share your network connection, your AWS Direct Connect connection between multiple different accounts using a few different methods. So starting with the physical side. Associated with each AWS region, we have a number of Direct Connect locations where you can connect directly into the AWS backbone. In Sydney, which is a region that we're after, um, for, most part, for most people here, um, we have five different regions. I'll cover them in a second. And to enable this connectivity, these Direct Connect locations are physically located within co-location providers. Um, this enables customers and partners to lease rack space where you can house your own network equipment. Um, and then from those Direct Connect locations, you can extend your network uh, into those uh, co-location spaces. So, um, on the diagram here, you can see we have the AWS Cloud on the right. We have the connection between AWS Cloud and Direct Connect location, which is via the AWS Backbone. This isn't a single link. This is multiple high-speed redundant links. Um, and inside the Direct Connect location, we have highly redundant um, Direct Connect hardware, where you can uh, have a cross-connect into your own router. Uh, and finally, on the very left-hand side, we have your network extension from your network into AWS. So how do we actually create one of these things? It's actually really, really easy. You go into the AWS Direct Connect console, select connections, hit create. You give your connection a name that makes sense to you. And then you select the speed, either one gigabit or 10 gigabit. Uh, as a side note, partners do offer uh, speeds below one gigabit and between one and 10 gigabit as a hosted connection. Uh, and finally, you connect or you select the direct connect location in which you want your connection. You hit create. Then within about 72 hours, you'll be able to download a letter of authorization from the direct connect console. This letter of authorization is essentially a port allocation in the AWS Direct Connect hardware. And you'll give that to the colo provider and use that to request the physical fiber cross connect between your hardware and AWS. So in Australia, we have five different Direct Connect locations. Two in Sydney, one in Equinix, one in Global Switch, and a further three next DC cars in Perth, Melbourne, and here in Canberra. So once we've established physical connectivity, we then need to create a virtual interface on top of that to provide IP connections over the top of that. So you have a choice of both public virtual interfaces and private virtual interfaces. Starting with public, 
um, you can connect to AWS public IP addresses over a public virtual interface and you use this to use um, AWS services such as S3, Amazon CloudFront, AWS CodeStar or Amazon Connect or you could use a public virtual interface to connect to other customers services so if they're providing software as a service via a public IP address in AWS you could connect to this over an AWS Direct Connect public virtual interface. On the other hand you could select a private virtual interface. Use this to connect directly into your own virtual private cloud without passing over the internet. It's a dedicated and private link. Um, you can use some AWS services via a private um, virtual interface over AWS private link, uh, but not all. And additionally, you can transport jumbo frames. So if you've got data intensive applications that need to transfer large amounts of data, um, you can speed that up using jumbo frames. Um, so similar to the physical connection, to create one of these, you go into the AWS Direct Connect console, you select virtual interfaces, hit create, you give it a name, you select that physical connection that we created earlier, and you'll give it a few um, technical pieces of information, so uh, the BGP configuration, um, some IP addresses for connectivity, and hit create. And within a few minutes, you'll be able to transfer data in and out of AWS. Um, it really is that simple to set up a connection. So just to illustrate these two different, op two different options. So in public, you're familiar with the two bits on the left, um, your own network on the left, and then the Direct Connect location. A public-private interface essentially gives you connection from your router into the AWS cloud. So in this case, up the top, we're talking to customer two, um, who's a software as a service provider. And down the bottom, we're also talking to Amazon CloudFront, the public um, endpoints there. And on the other hand, private connectivity. Again, we're exactly the same on the left, but on the right, rather than connecting out to public IP addresses, we're connecting directly into our own virtual private cloud. Um, again, there is no exposure to the internet unless you specifically create connections out to the internet in your VPC. So, how can AWS Direct Connect support my organization, your organization? Um, first up, it can reduce bandwidth costs. So by going via a direct connect into the AWS cloud, um, you can potentially save internet egress and ingress charges. Um, additionally, we charge a lower rate on data transfer out of AWS via direct connect than we do via the internet. You get consistent and predictable network performance. So if you're connecting to AWS via the internet, then you're potentially subject to internet weather events. So your latency could change, you could suffer dropouts, speed could be different. Via Direct Connect, you have that dedicated link. It always has the same number of hops between you and the nearest AWS region. So the performance will always be the same. It will be predictable and you can rely on it. It's compatible with all AWS services. So with a combination of public and private virtual interfaces, you can connect to every single one of the AWS services that we provide. Um, it provides private connectivity to your VPC. So as we saw with a private VIF, you have a link that is private, it is yours, there is no other customer who can connect to this. It's elastic. So imagine you're in a situation where you need to move a large quantity of data 
or run a number of large data intensive applications for a short period of time. Perhaps you need 40 gigabits a second for only a couple of months. You can simply go into the console and create multiple physical connections and you can actually aggregate them together. And we only charge you for those connections while they're created. So perhaps you've been running this for a couple of months and the project's finished, you hit delete. The connections are no longer there, you're no longer being charged for them. Um, if you need this connectivity again, you can create it again and within, from a physical point of view, within a couple of days, you can have high speed links up and running. And it's simple. So you know, I've shown you, or I've explained to you how you create your Direct Connect links. Setting it up is really quick, it's really easy. So, Direct Connect in Canberra. The Canberra Direct Connect location is just like any other Direct Connect location around the world. It does have a couple of added things though. So, first up, um, government organizations can use ICON. So, if you're a government organization located in Canberra, the Department of Finance maintains a fiber network that you can connect to, um, and that's a very fast, essentially dedicated service. There are terminations inside of Next DC and Bruce. So if you're a federal government customer and can use this, contact the Department of Finance, they can help you out. Additionally, because we're in Next DC, we have two options for your network connectivity. One is the standard option where you put your own hardware in a dedicated rack that you lease from NextDC. That's like any other Direct Connect location. But NextDC also has a software-defined networking product called Axon. So rather than maintaining and running your own equipment, you can contract Next DC to provide that first hop um, out of AWS Direct Connect into your own network. So, just as a, a bit of an illustration of that, we're pretty familiar with this diagram already, um, except the Direct Connect location is Next DC C1 in Bruce. Um, we have a dedicated customer router that, you've, that you're running in your lease track and we have Icon Fiber between there and your own data center. So you don't have to use Icon Fiber if you're not a federal government entity then you can use um, any number of network service providers or you know, even put in your own dark fiber if you're so inclined. And the second option again very similar except rather than uh, running your own network equipment in there and main maintaining that, um, you're using the NextDC Axon software to find network. So, what's the next steps? First up, read more online. Have a look at the Direct Connect product page at aws.amazon.com slash direct connect. Talk to us at the networking booth just over there today. Um, talk to Next DC. They have a booth over on that wall. And finally, talk to your AWS account team. So everybody's networking requirements are different. Um, talk to your solution architect, talk to your account manager, talk to your TAM, and we can help advise you on the best way to build your network to correct, connect to Direct Connect. So, thank you very much. And um, don't forget to complete the session survey in the app afterwards. Thank you.